uh, which is a 133 megahertz super machine. Yes. And before we start, I did not get up this morning and think, I'll make a video about restoring this. No, this has been brought on by necessity, because I found some hardware in a charity shop which I wanted to review. But, so I fired up the 486, but it's decided it's dead. So, this one was lying there. This is the one we installed, well, tried to install, install OS 2 on, but sort of went caca, cuckoo, and died. It worked once, but then never worked again, which is weird. So I thought, I'll put Windows 95 on this, and uh, all will be sweet with the world, and we can test this hardware. Meh. Because OS 2 had made such a mess of it, it wouldn't even recognise its own CD. And I can't be asked to go and install uh, DOS and CD drivers from floppies. So, and probably a better operating system, it's getting Windows 98 put on it. Uh, this has a weird root sequence which takes ages. And it also complains that it's got no clock and all that good stuff. So I thought I'd save you the pain of watching this boot and just go straight to this part that lens is misting up a bit. Yes. Is it because it starts to mist up? Yes. Oh well. Uh, so we got to this stage of where it's seen the CD ROM. It won't see it normally, but with this, it's seen it. So we'll boot from the CD ROM and hopefully get Windows 98 working on this. Ooh, it changed tone. That's a good sign. Okay. Boot from CD-ROM. Ah, there we go. Start Windows 98 setup from CD-ROM. And this was a brand new copy of Windows 98. It's never been used before. Isn't that nice? It was still sealed. So, off she goes. We're misting up. Love filming in winter. It's great, isn't it? Right, I'll be back in a while. Okay, I have defrosted the lens for now and it's found 65,536 uh, bytes of data on drive C that might be one or might be one or more lost files or directories, which is probably just taking up space. I shall delete Scandus about to make changes to drive C for it. Scandus to create an undo disk that you no, I don't want to undo it. It's uh not in good condition. Always hate it when you get a black screen. But, come on CD. Come on CD. Yes. Life. Yes. Okay. She's continuing. We'll have to do that. Ooh, Windows 98 setup. Ah, uh, this is the point when you realise you've got no mouse. Continue. Right. I'll be back. Okay. New message. Your computer already has an operating system installed, which cannot be upgraded by this version of setup. You need to obtain the Windows 98 upgrade. Message SU0168. Q. Meet FDisk. Alright, slight update. It asked me if I wanted la large disk support because I have a drive bigger than 512 megabytes. Yes! So I said yes and it's doing it. Which is going to be a bit slow but there we go. We'll be back when something interesting happens. And that took a while but uh, here we are the familiar old uh, setup. 30 to 60 minutes. Joy! Uh, I'm not going to make you sit through that. We'll be back. Right, we've uh, been through that bit. We've put all the gumfy information in, and it reckons now about 13 minutes. But we know exactly how uh, accurate Windows uh, setup estimates are. Not at all. Let's give, give you a clue. They're not at all. So, we'll be back once it's done. What it's doing. Right. A little bit later, and Windows 
Windows did not detect a mouse attached to your computer. That's because you're not getting a mouse. I have got something more awesome. The mighty trackball. Oh yes, much more awesome. You can have that instead. <laughs> uh, password. Uh, uh, meh. Don't want a password. Okay, more hardware finding. Right, I'll be back. Well, it at least caught the iMac rebooting. Uh, but, yes, uh, I missed it. Because I didn't have the camera running. But, even though I'm using headphones for speaker. Because I can't find my speaker or its cable. Uh, we got sound. Yes, and uh, we have a desktop. Now, the little iMac is booting because uh, it's going to get drivers that this may may need okay it seems we have sound let's have a look okay I do not hey I'm fluffy I do not remember those sound effects weird but we're going to close that because we hate it. There we go. Alright, I'm going to have a play around with this. Oh, tea. Fluffy bringing in tea. Ankle fluffy tea. Hmm. Let's see if it will change resolution. And then uh, we'll be back and see what we can do with this, if anything. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect this, but uh, it looks like... We have the ability to do stuff, but if I state true colour, it stays down there. Okay, let's try that, let's see what happens there. Uh, we haven't got programs running, so it should be right. Okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> it worked, wow. Actually worked, I'm impressed. Wow. Let's see what happens if I go to... We'll leave the colour for now. Oh, yes, look at that. Wow. Yes, I want to keep that for now. Uh, can we go? No, got to drop if you want that. High colour, can we go? Rip out now. Limited to 256 colours at this. Resolution, which you know, it's not going to be too much of an issue. So, what I'm going to do is reboot it, and then you can see. Uh, well, here it's start up. Mmm, stuff. And then we're going to play with the desktop and see what comes on this uh, installation. Now, shall we have this? Uh, wide? Oh, yeah, look at that, beautiful. Let's have it wide for a bit. Yes. And uh, let's restart it. Let's restart it. Where is that bloody speaker gun? I have no idea. I do not know. I do not know because I have no idea. Therefore, I do not know. I'm going to have a quick look for that speaker before I uh, power this back up. But for now, let's shut it down. Oh, it's one of those. Okay. Blinkity plonk. I'll be right back. Okay, I thought you might like to see the full boot on one of these. Now, these have strange BIOS programs, so uh, for now, you can't really get in the BIOS, it won't let you. I think. In fact, what I'm going to do is a little bit of research, see if I can find out how. If you can get on the bar as well, putting all these daft programs on it, I'll be right back. Uh, where's your mouse? Uh, being an arse. Let's try this. Oh, I was going to say that one of the forms said it was F10 to get into this thing, but uh, appears that doesn't work, so I'm going to try again. It used to have a program built in uh, when it was running in Windows 95, but that doesn't appear now. 
may have to reinstall that. I am not sure. I'm going to be having a look on the interwebs to see if I need to. But I'll be right back. Right, how rude. We were just looking at uh, gaming options for this. And yeah, I've got a few lying around. Uh, I've not called, which is an older game, so it's from 086s, but may work. Uh, I did look at 10 classic PC games, but it turns out you need a 450. This is a 133. Closest I've got, really. Uh, we got pinball construction kit, but that uh, needs more. Pa no, I don't know much. That might be Windows 2.1. Got a Star Wars Phantom Menace, which minimum you need the P200 Oops. operating system, 200 megahertz or faster. Now I'm wondering. This is sealed. Never been opened. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't suffer from being sealed now, does it? Uh, at least we know all the content should be there. I'm wondering if we can just try and run it anyway and see what happens just for a laugh. Shall we do that? Boys and girls? Yes, let's do that. All that for a little bit. And a CD. Yes. Don't you love this time period? What time period is this? This is, uh, doesn't say. Bastard. Your system may require the latest Windows 98. Ah, 94. 94? This could be 94. It could be 94. No, it can't be 94 because it's Dirty Phantom Menace. It's got to be 99 or later. But, yeah. Let's stuff it in and, uh, try it anyway. See what happens. May as well. Your watching is important to us. Please stay on the line. Uh, is this going to auto boot or anything? Oh, no. I'll go to touch it and it wakes up. I'll drive, doesn't we? Okay, install Phantom Menace. Analyze your computer. Let's have a look at us. An anal no, that's not an analyze my computer. Let's just go. What the hell is that? Let's go straight for it. Yes. Let's see what we can see. Ooh, setup. Is it going to complain that I haven't got enough kit to do this? Install. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Can't remember how big the drives are. Uh, let's have a quick nosy. If I can remember. Explore. Let me just see how big my drives are. C is. Properties. Oh, 7.64 gigs. So, yeah, we have plenty of room. It's also. There should be a second hard drive in there, but I think I deactivated it. Oh well, we'll do. Uh, okay, so yeah, we can go for full installation. No dramas. Love using this trackball. It's so retro, it's so chunky, and so manly! Ooh, that's fast. Hey, I might actually get away with playing this, but I don't know how good those video drivers are. We'll find out, shan't we? Yes, we shall. Okay, we're back. Uh, that's installed. That was uh, way longer than I thought because I went to the shop. Uh, my, my glasses are steamed up because it's winter outside and it's cold and it's horrible and quite nice actually. But there you go. I've got no joystick installed. Maybe I should do that. Mm, nah, let's do it. Play. Will it play it? Even though this is way underpowered for this. Reading the CD for some reason. Could not initialize graphics error hardware. Booger. Um, that didn't work. Hardware configuration. So look. Analyze your computer video options. Video driver. 
don't have any video driver. Hmm, okay. Alright. In that case, you net at least. I don't think this has got USB. I'm just going to get in front of the camera. It would be very irritating. Perhaps I'm not usually irritating, but. No, this doesn't have. This doesn't have USB. So. Yeah. That means if I want to put software on it, I'm going to have to do it using CDs now. The big question is if I climb over the other computers down here. Uh, do I have CDs? I have DVD hours. I have. Uh, what have I got here? Oh, CDRs. Okay. I have CDRs. So. Uh, well, it depends on the size of the driver, doesn't it? So I have the the iMac here. Oh, see my studio right there. Uh, I have the iMac and I'm going to find the drivers on there because they are on there. Yes, they still have the drivers for this and see if that won't resolve the issue. If not, well, we can't play this game, can we? So let us do that, shall we? Okay, uh, just have a look at this. I was just firing up the iMac and you can't see it too well here, but. There's a white spot there, like a pixel out. I'm trying to get it on here, but you can't. When it's there, I'll put the mouse on it. It's right there. Now, I still can't see it. But, anywho, it looks like a perfect spot of light, so it's pixel out, but it's when I put that there, it turns out it's a reflection. And I have no idea where that sort of focus bit of light's coming from. That's very strange. This has had an update actually. It's just rebooted from an update. Which should have fixed. So they say the backlight. Problem with uh, having more heavy on this 2009 iMac is the backlight doesn't change. So let's see if that's fixed it. Let's have a look. Displays. Is it displays or is it the other one? Right, that's right. So look. Yes, they fixed it. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, I got my nice bright iMac back. Woohoo! Thank you all so much. I did miss that. Right, I'm going to get these drivers off her and uh, transfer them onto there, hopefully. I'll do that back. Okay, I've just installed what I thought was a sound card. Uh, we said remote uh, access this thingy jobber. But let's have a look. Anyway, this is the video driver, apparently. So, right on track. Yes, go. I hope it's the right video driver. That would definitely be a help. Oh, alright, okay. Disc one. Set up. No way chucks about. Board found in your system. Bollocks. Bollocks. Please install U Matrix graphics accelerator for running the setup program. Hmm. So, um. What kind of stuff do we have in here? So the like, uh, control panel. Hmm. Right. Uh, system. I'm trying to remember it all now. Hardware performance device manager. CD ROM display. Ouch. <laughs> Service logic 5436 PCI. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm going to have to see if I can find the uh, drivers for that. Let's have a quick nosy up on the old uh, Imic. Yeah. Uh, well, we, uh, that's the ones we've just been doing. 
So, <coughs> yeah, it's tow all that light on, isn't it? Let's put that light out for a second. Boink! There we go. Okay, so we have. No. Very difficult to type around a camera. Logic. Uh, 5436 PCI. 5436 PCI. Windows 98. Driver. Oh, I've got 5436 PCI. Free driver download for Windows 98. Windows 98. Uh, uh, hmm. Download. I hate these things. Because. Yeah. Because quite often they're just a scam. Is that going to work? I don't, oh, God. I am not a robot. Oh god, not these things. One, two, three. They're so... Such a pain in the arse, these things. Continue. Okay. Ah, there it goes. Well, that's going to be a waste of a CD, but there we go. Let's put that there. Sewers.exe. Right. How big is that again? Ding, 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 ding. Get info. Yeah, that's solid. It's easy to put it on a CD. I'll waste a CD. I'll be right back. Okay, I downloaded the drivers, but I don't know if it's going to make any difference. Because uh, it's probably still just the drivers we've already got. Uh, no EXE file. Uh, what is, it? is it a readme? Yeah. Oh, poo. What do we do? Back. Did I see a readme? No. Oh. Uh. Uh. Vision. Destination. So. Do. 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 Install it there. Okay, I have no idea what to do with this. Can this be? Oh, hang on. Yep. No idea what I'm doing here. Uh, let's just work here. No, it's all the same. Hmm. Ah, user guide. Right. Okay, that might do something. Instruction. Installation page three. All right. Installation. To do it. To install. BGA means some following tools. Medium size. But what? Oh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Plug VGA, after VGA, fine, fine, fine. Ah, right. After VGA, da, 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 da. use the setup program supplied to the system to tell the computer about the equipment installed. Da, 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 da. Run setup to configure the computer. Sometimes this utility comes on a disk. Ah, uh, uh. Right, okay. Another way of doing this. No, go away. Right. Settings. Control panel. Uh, system. Device manager. Display adapters. That one. Driver. Update driver. Next. Uh, Next. 
Select the manufacturing model of your hardware device. Uh, this contains updates, half disk, and store updated driver. Okay, okay, half disk. Not floppy though. Browse. Just in. Uh, on the desktop. Uh, desktop. Service. That one. That one. Messages. Woohoo. Right. Okay, see if that works. Yes. When does the your comment driver may be closer to match your hardware device than the driver you have selected? Uh, yes. Go on then. Okay. We start. <laughs> Interesting to see if this works. If not, uh, we'll try getting OpenGL and DirectX and all that stuff. So if it's not already on there, but okay, might do the job. Okay, we're back. Uh, let's try hardware configuration. So look, video options. That's not necessarily a good thing. Couldn't find the file. Did game. All right. Okay. It failed on the processor. <laughs> right, let's put the disc in. You. Failed on two. Oh, my CD's too slow. Okay. Right, analyzing my computer. Put the disc in. Get rid of that. Don't need that now. Yes, go. Analyze my computer. Determining CD ROM speed, please wait. Failed on speed. Okay, that's fine. We're still uh, done. Let's see what it does. Ah, if not on the size graphics hardware. Bugger! Right, okay. Okay, what I've done, I've uninstalled the Phantom Menace. Uh -oh. And now, uh, I'm going to let it do it again, but let it install uh, DirectX as well. See how that does. <laughs> We're back again. <laughs> right, done all that, and same result. So, I think we can safely. Uh, Say that the Phantom Menace will remain a Phantom in this case. It's not going to work on this machine. Uh, right, no biggie, because I shall put this away, and then we. I'm stalling for time while I'm uh, putting stuff in a box, can you? There we go, all the way. Right. Okay. So what we're going to do instead? There's some hardware I can test, but I'm not going to do that today because, well, I'm not going to do it on camera because that's for another video. Oops. We have the beautiful mist, which has only that inside. I don't know if it had a manual originally, but <laughs> yeah, well. Right, okay. This is well within spec of this being for a. Du -du 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 -du. Uh, Windows 98, 75 megahertz Pentium or Festa, 133, recommended. Uh, yep, plenty. Should be powerful enough for this, so let's see if we can get missed to work on it. And at least play a game on this bugger for all our efforts of rebuilding it. Hmm, we shall see. Let's have a look what's going to happen. Right, D is going to, oh, it's going to auto start. Good, install. Ooh. It's doing stuff. Right, next. Next. 
He thought, yes, yes, whatever. Go. Ooh, install quick time, yes. We haven't got quick time. We need to do that. Okay, I shall take you through all this stuff and uh, we'll be back once it's installed. Right, here we are, a short while later, as usual. And uh, yeah, that, by the way, is uh, an IBM PS2 keyboard I got for very, I think it's £2.50 from a charity shop. Not often you see them. Uh, we got Mr. Installed. It's, di it's installed DirectX 6.1 by itself, so let's see what happens, if anything. It's going for it. Hmm. Not running smoothly. It is accessing from the CD though, so we shall see. Okay, we've got something else going on here. It's all going through the headphones, by the way, because my speaker's knacked. You should know that already. Ba-da-ding! I don't think it's destroying the speaker the headphones. Oh well. Alright, come on then. Let's see you do your stuff, boy. Better focus on the monitor. There we go. Missed. Okay. Uh, so that might be in luck. Scratches on this monitor there. Okay, let's. Uh, can we bypass? Hmm, it's got some choppy video on this. But it is accessing this from the CD, so that might be part of the issue. Okay. Boom. Hmm. Let us see what it does. It's going to play. Right, okay, let's go. Okay, it's right, yeah, right click. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, another video. Okay. That was a choppy video. I wouldn't like to try this on. Uh, it might be just the speed of the CD ROM that's causing this. Uh, if you could do a complete install. It probably runs smooth. A cup of tea while we're doing this. <laughs> okay, uh, what do we do now? Anything? All right. Let's see what it's like when we get in the level, because uh, it should stop running off the CD then. Aha, right, okay. Oh, left button. Oh, da. No idea. Okay. Right. Let's go up here. I always wanted this when it was uh, a new game, but these days, mm -hmm. maybe not so much. Can't go that way. Well, let's go that way. What a bugger. What a bugger. Oh no, I've suddenly gone Welsh. You'll have to excuse me. Right, okay. Um, Where am I going? What am I doing? Going this way. It is working. Mist is running. Uh, yeah, it's working fine. Hey, hey. Let's go sit on the chair. Ooh, the guns. But yeah, there we go, that's missed. Is there uh, anything else I can try and run on it? Uh, I've just walked past the camera here, and if you look up here, oh, past the big light, hang on. 
center. Can you see? No, you can't because light's in the way. Two meter. Let's try two meter. Let's see what this requires. Probably more than this. Uh, Pentium 233. In 266 recommended. I don't think we'll be playing that. No. No. What about pinball construction kit, which is up there? Have a look. That shouldn't require such power. Uh, I need to that fun stuff. I'll take the whole thing down. There we go. I'll be going on top. Oh, uh, maybe it's beacon's typing. Woohoo! Uh, right, pinball construction. What have we got here? Let's put that back down there. Let's uh, put this light back in here. Yes, that might be a good idea. So, well. Uh, Spin around so you can actually see. Right. Okay, Dirky. We have 1996. Mm, could be feasible. Uh, 486. 8 megabytes of RAM. That's 3GA. Windows 3.1. Windows 95. Okay. Windows 98. Close enough. We shall see if it will work. Ah, oh, it's in the game, isn't it? It's locked out. Hang on, let's see. Oh, whatever. Do whatever, Joey. Excuse me. Right. Go away, mister. Okay, so I'm going to try pinball construction kit. And I'll be back. Once the basics have installed. Okay, I'm just gonna try any old one, just for a quick run, see if it works on here. Uh, game control, new game. Get ready, player one. I have no idea how to do this. So. Okay, so I've got them. Things. Going through every button. Ah. Okay, this is going to be the rare occasion where I have to read the instruction manual. <gasps> no, not the instruction manual. Oh, right, so like pinball construction kit. Um, italic. Buttons? Buttons. This was a separate thing for buttons. Oh, wait, could you not see this, is it? Okay. Uh, right. Uh, stop, lever, left cable, touchy, pins, buy for better. Uh, test, oh, record, play, stop. Hmm. Don't know that one. Right, let's have a look in the manual. Oh god, I don't do manuals. I'm a bloke. Right, credits, contents, system requirements, technical support. Don't care, don't care. Windows terminology. Don't care, don't care. Aha. Pulls. Ah, down arrow, spacebar, nudge table. Down arrow, pulls back plunger. So, ah, there we go. We're off. <coughs> Let's have a go. Okay, now my things don't work. The hell? Ready? Alright then, so, yeah. Whee! So, yeah, there we go. Pinball construction kit. Works nicely. So we have mostly got this uh, working again. Uh, that first game, uh, Phantom Menace, is beyond its abilities anyway, so probably wasn't that fair a test on it. But I am actually surprised at how easy it was to get this working. 
No, it doesn't want to come over there. Oh, okay. System is busy. Now rude. Now oh, it's rebooted. Okay, I am generally surprised that Windows installed that easily and all that. So we have some more uh, hardware to test, but that's for another video. And uh, yes, success. I shall call that success. So if you enjoy these sorts of videos and you're not already, then please subscribe to the channel and please like the video. And uh, you can join us on Blink, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and if you really like the channel, you can support us through Patreon. All the links to the relevant stuffy, stuffy, stuffies is found down below. Other than that, thank you all far much for watching and uh, let me know what you thought in the comments. Thank you all. It's nice to hear from people. I do care. <laughs> thank you all for You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. Ha <laughs> ha